Gil, O'Connell and Serena spent months getting our systems coordinated. You can't just strip and redesign those connections on the fly. Gil? I know you can hear me. The whole ship can hear you. I'm just not listening. You're fighting again? I'm thinking the same, believe me. I'm still trying to make sense of everything we learned at the Remnant City. I can't believe the Angara are... designed. What are the implications? That there's so much we don't know? It's humbling. Well, I came here for mysteries, right? Helios is more and more interesting every minute. Anything you want to talk about before we head back into it? How's your current project looking? We didn't get the device. But, the scan data could help us use Remtech to augment more of our systems. Who knows? Maybe someday we'll have Remnant-infused ships, or even learn how to travel space in new ways. For the foreseeable future, though, I'll just be in research and study mode. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. if I'm finally broken. To see what discovering that my people were invented has done to me. Just here if you need to talk. I can't imagine what you're feeling. I've been staring out the window, trying to figure that out. That's new. True. Angara are usually very free with our feelings. Not talking about all Angara. I'm talking about you. I'm... numb. I'm in awe. There's a peace in knowing that though the universe is beyond your understanding, it doesn't need your understanding to function. That you may even have a hidden destiny. We don't even know how large that hidden plan is. It may span galaxies. Exactly. And if we, once we know our place in that plan, we could fulfill it, and even better it. I'm not broken, Ryder. I'm excited. The Angara were created for a purpose. We were given vaults and golden worlds, all these advanced tools, and there is nothing the Ket can do about it. The future holds more for the Angara than a never-ending war on the Ket. Much more. For the Angara? Hell, for all of us. These are amazing, crazy days. <laughs> really crazy. Really amazing. It doesn't matter if we were created by a god, reborn from our ancestors, or it exist as the dream of an AI superpower. This discovery changes nothing. Except... ourselves. And that's... everything. Pathfinder. Thought you might be callow. I asked him for nav data. Data for what? Mapping the Scourge. Now we know it's a weapon, I hate it more. Designed to isolate, lingers well after the war. I know what that is, it's a minefield. You saw minefields in crisis response? A lot of wounded? That was awful, sure. But the long term is worse. Minefields hobble the whole population, make normal life impossible. Mark this. The Ket are bad, but whoever deployed the Scourge, they're some motherfuckers.
Need something? I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Every time we fight an exalted Krogan, I think about how that could be me. I'd want you to kill me. Are you happy now that Spender's out of the picture? Damn right I am. Good riddance, too. Someone somewhere will take care of him. And you won't have anything to do with it, huh? Hold a grudge. Me? I would never. We can talk more later. Sure. So my buddy Jill, who, by the way, can't stop singing your praises, wants to have a baby. And, uh, stop me if you've heard this one before, she asked me if I'd father it. Wow. That's huge. Right? What the hell are you going to do? I don't know. I'm still in the freaking out phase. Would it be totally crazy if I said yes? I don't think it's crazy. I mean, we're already family. I get her, she gets me, and we support each other unconditionally. Wanting to give someone what they want most in the world is love, Gil. I hear you. And you know I've been thinking about it, Ryder. Becoming a dad. I don't want to just be a donor. Bringing a kid into the world wouldn't be enough for me. I'd want to raise the child with Jill. Sounds like you know what you want. Yeah. It's funny, you can think until you're blue in the face. Sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. I'm very happy for you, Gil. For both of you. Thanks, Ryder. Or should I say, Uncle Pathfinder. Ryder? See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Hey, Ryder. What are we going to do if Meridian isn't what we expect? What do you mean? What if it isn't where it's supposed to be? Or it doesn't work the way we think it does? Let's not worry about things we don't know yet. It's just we never really know what we're going to get with this remnant stuff. I've been going back and forth, glee one second, worry the next. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Learn that the hard way. We still have to try. We still have to hope. You're right. Of course you're right. We didn't give up to the worst of it and we're not going to start now. Whatever happens, let's try to have fun doing it. Haven't we so far? Two galaxies worth.